golf cart with a crazy Amish guy. And I'm not really Amish, and I don't play one on YouTube. <laughs> guys, I'm here with Doug from Doug and Stacy Off Grid. Some of you guys are familiar with Doug. I'm sure many of you are. He's a awesome off-gridder, homesteader, not really Amish, but he's <laughs> here down in Selmer, Tennessee. He came out to the workshop. We've been hanging out, did some videos together for his channel, and um, how's it been going so far? I've been uh, really soaking up the information, and one of the reasons why I come down is uh, we do a thing on our channel called Field Trip Friday, so a lot of people uh, are interested in this homesteading and you know growing food movement, always want to know, like, how can I make money and do what I love to do? So we always try to find these stories of ways people can actually implement systems uh, to help them to make money on their homestead so they can get out of their nine to five job, get out of that cubicle, and then uh, live an intentional life and do what they love to do. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for, for me, uh, I got into commercial farming first, and now I'm getting more into the homestead. You're coming from the homestead front, and I mean, I've been dreaming about what you guys are doing. Yeah. That's what I've wanted to do forever. Yeah. You, guys are, you guys are living off grid, yep. growing your own food, Got animals. Yeah, we have some sheep and doing, stuff. Yeah. Doing, doing it all. I mean, are you seeing, how much of the stuff are you seeing that you do at home, like here? Is there Are there some parallels to, to what's going on here? Yeah, on I mean, farm? I see like most, most, uh, massive like compost piles. I see uh, the manure piles. Um, you know, it's a very intensive gardening. We really don't do that because we're really just growing food for ourselves so we can eat much uh, nutrient dense food as possible. Um, we haven't really thought about like getting into a market type situation, but that's the beauty of it if we ever wanted to these systems are in place teachers like Curtis um, and other guys are open sourcing their information uh, so you guys on the other side of the camera can get this information and run with it and that's and that's the whole thing I mean Doug and I are both youtubers and we're out there sharing content and and one thing that you know we've been talking about a lot is that we need to get you guys into sharing what you're doing to get the getting more people into this because right. you know in the YouTube space You've got guys like Roman Atwood and Casey Neistat who might be great YouTubers, yeah. but the things they're doing are kind of just garbage crap that doesn't really make the world any better. Yeah. And you know, we're thinking that it's just like really important that you guys share your content to get it out in the space. Get Let's inspire kids to do this right. stuff. Yeah, if you guys would um, take, you know, like the, that, that, like I said, the kids. So like Roman Atwood has a lot of younger people watching his videos and they're all into the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebooks, and they share every video and he's getting massive hits on his video. Just think if you guys invested a little bit of time, even if you don't like that stuff or agree with it, uh, you could do it just to help promote the message and then people could be a lot better off getting this information just like you enjoy watching and learning the information other people could be reached by it some of them don't even know that it's out there yeah so that's huge and, and you know so much of it is like sharing the learning how mm -hmm. much of that has been like when you guys started how much, like, are you documenting your failures? Are you kind of showing the whole process? Yeah, I think that's one of the compliments that we get on our channel is that we do show the failures. So like, we put in the raised beds, the first year they were a total failure, we shared that. We put in the wood chips, you know, so the first year was a total failure, we shared that. And we've also had a lot of successes. The raised beds, we got them turned around and they're like very abundant right now. Our greenhouse, you know, just everything. If, so if you're watching someone and they're only showing you successes, there's a red flag for you because there's plenty of failures that come along with every success. There's there's often like far more failures. <laughs> right. Probably like 10 to 1. And that's the thing, like people ask me, you know, how did you get so good at doing this stuff? It's like, well, I probably failed thousands of times right. and I've kept refining and I just never gave up. So I mean, it's kind of a this is kind of a call to action to you guys to like do this stuff, share it, make it known, share your failures, share your successes. But we live in a, we live in a world today with social media and, and vlogging and YouTube and stuff where people are sharing the experience. That's just the world. And yeah. so get it out there, get the content out to people and, and, and share what you're doing. Yeah, I was uh, talking to someone earlier, Ray, who actually is hosting the event. And we were talking about how, you know, the amount of time that it would take you guys just 10 years ago to learn the information that's available at your fingertips right now, you know, you could gobble up like 10 or 15 years just to 
getting books and learning and studying this stuff. And right now you can just like go to YouTube, type in any kind of search uh, that you want to learn about and there are videos about it. So take advantage of the information, but also, you know, go the extra step, hit the share button, you know, share it with your friends and uh, try to broaden what the people that are actually learning this information so we can help make a difference one video at a time. That's right, get it out there. And, um, you know, I, I, I kind of going back to a slightly different conversation, but you know, what, what, what are you guys up to these days? I mean, you're, you're, you're vlogging every day, right? You're doing stuff every day. That's crazy. I'm yeah. not, I'm not quite every day. What's uh, like, what's next on the horizon? You were just at that, that fair in, um, was that in Virginia? Yeah, it was in Virginia. We're at the Homesteaders of America conference. I'll actually leave here. And then on Friday we go to Topeka, Kansas for the last mother earth news fair, which you've been to a lot of those. Yep. Uh, then when I'm going to be down at the tiny house jamboree in Texas at the end of the month, and then we'll be at layman's. It's an um, off grid, like non electric store. It's a really cool store in Kidron, Ohio for a two day meet and greet just uh, for people that watch our channel or maybe some of you guys that are watching this video and you're like, hey, that guy looks pretty cool and I'm gonna go check them out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but this year we kind of dedicated to getting out and meeting people that watch our channel, you know, getting some FaceTime with them because you guys watch these videos but you never really know like, are they the real deal? So we like to come out, shake your hands, listen to your stories um, and meet new people too, so. That's awesome stuff. So I mean, you guys got, uh, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put all Doug's stuff in there. We, he did a video with me. I'm gonna share that video in here. Check that video out. I'll have subscribe in there. Check out his channel. If you're into homesteading, these guys are doing amazing stuff and they're sharing the failures and successes just like I am. So, you know, get out there, find the information, but again, share it and get this stuff out in the in, in the space. Well, I actually stumbled across his videos and then learned about him writing his book. We actually started our gardening. When we went into this process, we had never farmed, gardened, never lived any of this lifestyle. We were total city rats and living in, you know, in the city, having a big house and all the big bills. And so we got out there, we built a log cabin in 90 days from scratch with no experience. And then I actually got a team of Belgians and I was plowing and disking and harrowing a 10,000 square foot garden with just me and my wife. So then we were just thinking about um, aging in place and putting in these uh, processes uh, on our land that would help us get older without as much work. So then we've ditched that. We've changed our gardening methods. We're you know doing the raised beds, the back to Eden. Um, probably implement some of this stuff, which is really cool because even though we don't market garden, there's a lot of great ideas here. So where you could get the most out of your produce, and I find that very good, uh, rewarding. You know. Yeah, and I, I look forward to seeing your channel you starting to implement some of this yeah, stuff and, yeah. and seeing how it comes along yeah so that was a big motivator for me is like your videos and your book and then you know we started talking and hanging out through the youtube space and uh, developed a friendship and stuff but i've really enjoyed uh, listening to the people that are here i guess there's like 40 people yep, or so yeah and uh, they're sharing their stories a lot of it is an underlying thing that you know they're sick of the rat race they want to grow their own food and they want to provide nutrient dense food for other people. I think yeah. that's a great testimony to what you're doing. Yeah. And it makes it worth it. I mean, he comes all the way from Canada to Arizona, to New Zealand, to Tennessee, to help teach you guys the systems that he's put in place. And all of his trial and error, you guys are able to reap and uh, you know benefit from that. So I think that's awesome. So and one of the things I really enjoy too is that um, we're here listening to Ray's success story because he started off, you know, he had all the animals. He was kind of doing the homestead thing. He got overwhelmed. And then he had to start trying to figure out how to laser focus what he wanted to do to could bring him profit and also he cured his daughter um, who had cancer through food because he let uh, food be his medicine not medicine be his food so I think that's really a, a good powerful message too and uh, just to hear how he went from maybe 10 or 20,000 or 30,000 dollars now I think he said this year he's already made 120 which yep. is more than last year yep and we're just going into fall which he says is his busiest time of the year yeah so I think a lot of the stories that I'm hearing at um, his workshop is that people see this on YouTube and they question it, right? Yeah. Curtis, they yeah. think, oh, sure. right, this guy really makes six figures, you know, selling salad greens, right? But when they come here and they see the systems in place and then they get their hands dirty and they're they're teaching them how to start the beds and you know how to roll out the tarps and the systems that work and the different ways to harvest and how long each thing takes. I mean, yep. when they see all that stuff, they can really start really putting their mind around it and they're like, wow, this is great. So I think that's awesome, the work that you're doing and I appreciate you uh, inviting me down so we could do this field trip Friday Absolutely. for the people on our channel to help them learn how to make money for their homestead. That's so, it. So you know, the work 
work you're doing is important. I mean, we put these videos up as YouTube creators and we never really know, yeah. but we're changing lives one video at a time. That's it, and, and you know, please do the same, you guys. And you know what, I wanna say something too about just like collaborating with other people, like Doug and I connected just over the phone a number of months ago, maybe it was like early summer, we connected just as YouTubers reaching out to other people. And you know, one thing that's so important in, 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 your, in your arc of your career path or your path in life is reaching out to other people who are on a similar path to you. Right. Because once you start putting your minds together with people that are on a similar path and you have a vested interest in each other's success, you can really laser focus and it's kind of like, if you guys ever read the book Think and Grow Rich, they talk about this idea of masterminding and really what that is is, is collaborating with individuals and sharing ideas and sharing in each other's desire to, to see you all be successful. Right. And so you guys are all going to have other people in your space. It might not be Doug or I, but it might be somebody else that's kind of at your same place. Cause you're, you're gonna have like three kinds of people. You're gonna have people that are ahead of you, people that are at your space, at, at your level, and then people that are behind you. It's really important to surround yourself with those three kinds of people. Like you wanna have mentors, but you also wanna have people in your peer group, and you also wanna have people that you help. And that's what's so great about sharing the content is getting out there as you can help other people, but then you'll have other people that reach out to you and say, hey, we're doing similar things, let's get together Together and see how we can help each other out. Love that stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave all the links to Doug's channel. You guys check him out. They're doing awesome stuff and I'm sure we'll be hanging out again soon. Hey, I appreciate right your time, on, man. And I'm, again, you guys, he's putting on a great service for you guys. If you can ever make it to one of his shows, uh, I would highly recommend it. It's a wealth of information. Everyone's running around with notebooks and their heads <laughs> are getting big and it's really it's really a good time. And as you know, and everyone here has been super hospitable. So don't forget to check him out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All <laughs> you right. Do Facebook, do you? Yeah, I'm you on there. Yeah, 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 I'm on there. All, All right. right. Peace out.